Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Look at my bag, I've got a few things here. Let's see what we've got. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon. That usual stuff. And as always, this is from PB Tech, right? Again, all the packaging is on the top, and there's nothing in the bottom. It's it's kind of pointless, really. It's like they got no bloody idea. Anyway, uh, hilarious every time. So I think the top of the box, you know, but it gets damaged because they don't drop it on the ground or anything, do they? No. One twenty gigabyte SSD. You've seen me feature these before. Few other times, and I, I seem to run out. I thought I had one laying around. I was trying to fix a MacBook the other day. I've actually fixed two MacBooks in the past week, and I've done a video on those. I think I've already published one of them. Yeah, I did. I needed some more SSDs, so I bought them. Well, these are actually getting cheaper and cheaper. These are like $37 New Zealand now. Last time I bought this exact model, it was $50, and that was only a few months ago. So the prices are getting really good. You can get a really small SSD for very little money now, it's brilliant. So there you go, here's a drive. It's got pretty much standard specs, I mean all kind of around the same sorts of speeds, you know, to 500 megabytes a second, whatever they are. Does it sound here what it is? Nah. It doesn't specify it. Or, or SATA interface. But all around it's kind of same kind of speeds these days, I mean it's all much of muchness really. So here we have a big box, let's see what's in here. Is my RAM going to let me down? Do I need more RAM? No, no, I've done it. Here's the centre of the box. There. Go. Not dropped on it before. No, I just pack all, which is no good to me anyway, because I'm not in that country. Right. It's fairly well packaged at least. So when I buy stuff on eBay, I always say to them, make sure you wrap it thoroughly to protect it. So the question is, was this all that the seller did before he went to Pitney Bowles, who sent it to me over, you know, because they go through package usually? Or did they do better than this? Because if this is all they did, that's not really adequate. Or I specify, I package it really well every time I buy something. Because people just don't know how to package stuff, it's incredible. Because at least if you specify, pack it really well, wrap it completely with plenty of padding. If it comes not packed well, you've got something to complain about. When I'm buying better gear which are potentially worth thousand dollars, then you know I want it to be tech for this isn't worth that much. I bought some cheaper stuff recently. I've had stuff turned up like this before just inside a plastic bag. Inside a box, rattling around. I've had that before. Anyway, let's just through it. Guess I'll get into this thing.
So that's what the panel fell off. Not surprising, they often do. It's a bit yellow. Anyway, it's a HP relay actuator. I thought it looked interesting. It's fairly cheap, that's why I got it. It's got the feet on it, but again it's got no locking pins, see? No locking pins. So now you can actually see how these feet work. Alright, so this is the pins I'm making right now. So it's on the back there it's got a whole bunch of terminals, so basically go straight to the relays. I might open up that look. Is that a screw missing? It probably has a voltage selection side as well. There we go, a whole bunch of relays. I'm surprised it opened frame actually. So how does it work? I don't know. But there's a voltage setting, 115 volts, so I need to make that 230. That's the one I very well. Um, yeah, it's got a small tip on it. 230 volt, there we go. So that's that changed. Big spar cap in there, 4000 microfarad. And there's a device down there. I can't tell what it is. There's a HP part number on it, of course. It's probably just a voltage regulator. Got a couple of ICs underneath there as well. And a big clunking switch at the front there. Well, it's not actually that clunking, but it's actually really, it's really silent. It's nice and quiet, actually, surprising. So the idea is you push those buttons and it actuates these relays. It's got a couple of indicators on the front there. It's got GPIB. Let's uh, plug power and see if it actually does anything. Might go bang, you never know. Oh, something's energised. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So number three doesn't have an LED on it. Well, indicator light is gone. So all the relays and cells are switching over. It's probably just a bulb. It's not really much of a deal, is it? But it seems to work. Another package for me. This looks interesting. I already know what's in here. So it's a bit of a spoiler for me, but yeah, I already know. Make sure you subscribe and stuff. Put the bell icon. Give us a thumbs up. All the usual stuff. I think my RAM's starting to let me down. No, I'm going to have to go to the knife. Actual knife. Although, it's not much more. It's not much sharper than the rest. Alright. Okay. It's well packaged, which is good. What I always hope. I, I think I purchased, yeah, purchased from the same person before, and I packaged it really well then as well. So I've been very happy with their packaging. They're pretty thorough. Let's get this out of the way. Flat around this side, so I'm definitely going to have to open it up to see what's going on. Now, this may look familiar, or well, it may not. Uh -huh, look, we have some damage here. It's probably what's floating around. Front panel was smashed. Uh -huh. So That's not a good sign. Broken front panel. It's probably what's floating around inside that's a piece of plastic. Oh dear. 
I'll probably glue it back together along with the bits of there. Does that mean it's had a frontal impact? Whilst it's been shipped, even though it's painted quite well, you had a lot of padding on the front there to protect the front panel. And this is what it is. Yeah, look at that. That was not like that in the picture. It's been broken in shipping. Despite the good packaging. Yeah, that whole front panel was knackered. That's concerning. So, there's only bits of plastic floating around. Let's power it up and see if it actually still has a display and stuff like that. Drop the voltage down to see if it powers up or not. So, I mean, even though packaging is right, it must have been heavy, heavily handled. So, this side the front of the box here. That's a bit annoying. It's smashed like that. Yeah, impacts in here. That's the legs from the back hitting that. But the front. I don't know, there's no signs of impact on the inside the box. But it did have this other padding in there. So I don't know. I guess it's been roughly treated, it's probably been thrown. Which is why I always say pack things really well. Oh well. I guess we've got a jigsaw puzzle of plastic pieces to sort out. If I can glue it back together it'll be alright. But yeah, I might be able to, I'll probably get another front panel for it. But it's a shame because now it's going to increase the cost and I probably won't make any money on it. Okay, the power in. Got to set to 100 volts. See what power up. Well, the display's not broken or something. Okay. The output is working. Yep, that's working. Channel 2, high range. It's also working. Because there's a readback feature, if you've got a voltage on here, you know it's working. But yeah, this front panel was like mounted. So if those are taking impact, maybe the knobs are taking impact as well. They feel okay on the board though. I don't know. Yeah. It's a shame. Very disappointing, but it works. So it's purely cosmetic. I can probably get another bezel. I'll have to go and have a look.